I'm Peyton. And this is the Alpaca Bachelorette. Next slide. Okay, so an over overview of the techniques we use. So first we analyzed the certificate of registration and the EPD. And then we recorded all of the ship and histogram data. And then we compiled all that data into a spreadsheet. And then after we had all that data, we analyzed it, uh, compared all the different data, and then gave each of the males a uh, ranking and then each of the females ranking a uh, ranking. And so then they were ranked one through five and then one through five. And then instead of putting like the best of the best and the worst of the worst, we tried to average it out and put like one good one with one bad one to like improve the future of the farm as generations go on. Mm -hmm. And then uh, in this presentation, we don't mention all of the different traits, and that is because some of the traits were rather consistent among the herd, and so we didn't feel it necessary to mention. So the season one finale is Cleopatra, who is seven, a grazer from Half the Brain Harmony Ranch. And receiving the final rose is Zen, seven years old, a full-time model, also from Half the Brain Harmony Ranch. Next slide, please. So, Cleopatra's fiber traits were very below average, and then she had a very high AFD standard deviation, and then percent of fiber is greater than three. So it was awful. <laughs> On the other hand, Zen is in the <laughs> top 1% of EPD, so his fiber traits are all fives and fours, a very low AFD and standard deviation. This helped balance out Cleopatra's traits and kind of uh, make the next generation uh, have lots of improvement. And then for her confirmation traits, they are mostly below average scores. And then Zen's confirmation traits, all fives across the board, and so that'll bring up Cleopatra's confirmation right. traits. And then there was no incest between them. She was a <laughs> uh, medium silver gray alpaca. Yes, and then Zen 100 whites, and again, we checked for incest and we're clear. Yeah. So the season two finale is white gold, who is 10, and a stay-at-home mom from Pasadena's Harmony Ranch. And then we have Tikanui, who is 12. He invests in Bitcoin as his career, also from Hasselbrin and Harmony Ranch. So White Gold's fiber traits, she had a very low luster, but the rest were average, and then a high standard deviation, and then average or less desirable AFD and percent of fiber traits. And then Tikanui, his fiber trait, uh, fives and fours, all above average traits, but for average, uh, his AFD was below 30. Uh, average uh, standard deviation, but he did have a less desirable percentage of fibers above 30, but this will be able to be fixed with future breeding. And then the confirmation traits, she had a 4.5 on the front leg, but the rest were fives. And then Tikanui, again, fives across the board. This will bring up uh, white golds, 4.5 in the and then again, no incest, and um, she is a uh, white. Yes. <laughs> Tikanui also 100 white and no incest, and so this will likely result in white offbreed, which is ideal for stallion. So the season three finale is Sansa, who is eight and a chef. And then we have Zen, who is seven and is a full time model as well from Hasselbrenner Harmony Ranch. So Sansa's average or above average on all traits except for uniformity of micron density and then loss structure. Those could be improved, but they're still decent. And then Zen, again, we're bringing back Zen. Uh, he is in the top 1% in the APD, all fives and fours, very low AFD and uh, standard deviation. So this will bring up Sansa's rather average traits to be more top tier. And then she had all fives on her confirmation traits. As well as Zen did. Yeah. And then the lineage, they're both white again, and then there was no certificate of registration, but we're assuming that there's no incest. Yes. <coughs> so the season four finale is Milano, who's 13 and a senior from Hasselbrenner Harmony Ranch. And then we have Dallas, nine, stay at home son, Hasselbrenner Harmony Ranch. So Milano had below average and needs to see improvement on fineness, uniform of color, and density with an average AFD and then um, percent of fibers greater than 30, but she had a really big or a really high standard deviation. And then Dallas's fiber traits are all in the top 5% of EPD. Uh, he has all fives, fours, and one through 0.5, uh, but all the traits are above average, so that will give improvement to Milano. And then Milano had all fives except for her head on the confirmation traits. 
and then Dallas's all flags across the board will bring up that one uh, area in the head. And then uh, Milano is a true black and then proves to be and says there's no certificate of registration. And then Dallas is 100 white. The season five finale is Bethany who is seven and a dancer. And then we have Torpedo who is 10, freelance photographer. Um, Bethany was in the top 1% of her five or traits, so she had average or above on all traits except for luster, which can be improved with Torpedo, and then she had a great AFD, COV, standard deviation, and percent of fibers greater than 30. And Torpedo also, his fiber traits are in the top 1% of EPD. Uh, he has slightly above average scores, uh, but has fantastic AFD, COV, standard deviation, and percentage of fibers above 30. For her confirmation traits, there's all five except for type and front leg, so again, that can be improved with Torpedo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, confirmation traits, five across the board, and like Kate said, we'll bring them up. And then there's no incest. Yep. <laughs> so the uh, season six finale is Cleopatra, who is seven, and Grazer. And then Sundance, seven, occupation winner. So Cleopatra, as mentioned previously, has awful fiber traits. She has very below average scores and then very high AFD standard deviation and fibers greater than 30. And then Sundance, he's also very below average. His AFD is above 30 and he has poor standard deviation and percentage mm -hmm. of fibers above 30. And then again, Cleopatra has very below average scores on the confirmation traits. And then same for Sam Sundance and most all below average. So not only are they both really bad, but they also have the same dad. So they would found out <laughs> from this um, show that they're half siblings. On the after final rose special, yeah. they did an ancestry.com test and they found out that information. It's really quite tragic for them. And it actually got the alpaca bachelorette canceled and has been blacklisted from ABC in Hollywood. Yeah, quite trashy. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. 